tomorrow if you love film cinema arts this is your channel so don't go anywhere subscribe and be with me It's good to be with me. I want to explain the ending of Wish. A step forward, Asha, our plaggy, nearly corkly protagonist, that's the freshest clone from the current crop of modern Disney princesses we have seen of so often in these films since Tangled. Asha is not happy that the king won't grant her 100-year-old grandfather's wish and sets out to right this wrong. Despite Magnifico explaining why and we should understanding, Asha decides to steal that wish, give it to her grandfather and let his wish to be granted. It seems that this wish is kept inside a large doom that houses all the other wishes that look suspiciously like the memory orbs from inside out. The wisher then has their memory erased of their desire once. It's gone so they live without regret. The king alone decides what best for the city and which wishes he deems are dangerous, unrealistic, or could incite the flames of rebellion to overthrow their little utopia. And the wish sees her grandfather singing in front of everyone. It's too dangerous as it's too vague and could inspire a rebellion and destroy Rosas. It seems that. Okay, people, Magnifico works hard to become a strong sorcerer and has the power to grant wishes to the good and the worthy. He and his wife ended up on an island in the Mediterranean and created Rosas under the principle of allowing anyone to any region to be welcome together. They settle in and enjoy their time with wishes given to the King Magnifico that may or may not be granted. When Asha shows up and tries to be his assistant, Magnifico thinks he's finally found someone to open up with. Uh, but when... He sees Asha only wanted to do this to get her grandfather's wish granted. He feels betrayed. Maybe it is. I don't know. Asha wants to give the dreams back to every single person so they can try and explore it themselves. People come to Rosas and give their wishes willingly so they forget their worries. Asha believes it's the most beautiful part of them and wants to give it back. She wants more for us than this. But for Magnifico, he thinks this will completely destroy the foundation of Rosas. As a result, Magnifico uses forbidden magic with crops him. That's so bad. And now and here, the king has embraced the corrupt magic that makes him intent on capturing a star for himself and just for himself. He's so selfish. He wants to take all the energy for himself, but the queen joins the rebellion while the king continues to take wishes for himself. Asha is given a magic wand by a star and Magnifico is lured out into the forest where Asha is waiting. The queen decides to find a way to break the hold of the curse magic has on him. At the same time, the other kids decide to release all the wishes into the air. It can be beautiful. It turns out, magnifico, out in the woods is actually Simon. Um, Simon? Yeah, 
the beer from earlier in the movie shows up to stop Simon along with an army of rabbits in this uh, animation. Okay, now back in Rosas, a star starts to release all the wishes into the world, but Magnifico gets there first and traps the star and all the other wishes. Asha is then trapped by the king. This is, I think, the switch of the animation, who watches as Magnifico takes a star into the stuff and is consumed by greed and desire. Asha tries to vision stars, but Magnifico shuts her down, deciding to bind the whole city. Okay, I don't want to talk about everything in this uh, animation, but how does wish end? Does Asha get everything she ever wanted? Okay, in here at the end, Simon returns and apologizes for his actions. He was sorry he had to live without himself and he wanted to believe Magnifico. While he's forgiven, Magnifico is not. He's locked inside the mirror and kept locked in the dungeon for all eternity. The queen admits that he deserves to be hung in the dungeons forever, though we know that he was corrupted by bad magic. In the end, the real bad guy here was Magnifico for not granting everyone their wishes. Now that Asha has the power to grant every single wish to everyone in Rosa, the place is a happy city once more. A happy ending, another happy ending for Disney animation. Thank you.